important in transforming raw water into water that is safe for usage and consumption. The water should be totally free from microorganisms, pure and clean. In water treatment, it involves two major processes, that is physical solid removal and chemical disinfection. None of the biological process is involved as compared to the wastewater treatment. For the first stage is raw water catchment in the reservoir. There are two main sources of raw water which is groundwater. This may include wells and surface water. This may include lakes, rivers and etc. In Malaysia, the main water source will be the water and surface water. Second stage, the coagulation of suspended particles in water. The main goal of coagulation is to reduce turbidity in water. Turbidity is a measure of the amount of the suspended particles in water which causes cloudiness. Removing turbidity can remove unwanted taste and other compounds. Moreover, lower turbidity allows for higher rate of disinfection. Coagulant like alum that is positively charged is added to water to attract particles that is negatively charged, resulting in flop formation. Third stage, sedimentation of plugs in sedimentation tank. The weight of plug together with the gravity assist in the settling at the bottom of the sedimentation tank. Now, the solid particles are removed out of the water and the clear water can be observed. Fourth stage, filtration. Water from the sedimentation tank is passed through filters to undergo filtration process. Some filters are made of layers of sand and charcoal that help to remove smaller particles in the water. However, some filtration is done by passing water through other various porous media that is suitable. The fifth stage is disinfection. Water disinfection is necessary to kill the disease-causing bacteria and other microorganisms. To meet the standard requirement, such as coliform test must show zero coliform bacteria activity in the water, thus making the water to be safe for drinking and other usage. In Malaysia, chlorination is widely used, in which the chlorine gas is dissolved in the water to produce free chlorine. Last but not least, seed stage, storing treated water and distribution. Treated water is channeled through one pipeline to storage and balancing reservoir. Water is stored for a duration of time, allowing this infection to take full action on microbes. Storage tank is placed at sufficiently high of the ground to allow gravity to distribute water to various areas such as homes, industrial and business areas. And now, let's watch the video from the YouTube. This is a very basic overview of the water treatment process. Customers always need water, but rainfall is seasonal and increasingly unpredictable. So we often use storage reservoirs to make sure there's always a supply for treatment. By passing water through mesh screens, we remove sticks, water weeds and other large foreign objects. The air takes some odours and gas from the water and allows some dissolved metal salts to separate to be filtered out. We add air by cascading the water down a tower, spraying it into the air or bubbling air through it. At this stage, there are still some fine pieces of matter suspended in the water, along with colour and bacteria. We add a precisely controlled amount of a coagulant like ferric or aluminium sulphate. This reacts with the material in water, making it all stick together to form what's known as flock. To make this flocculation happen, water and the coagulant have to be mixed together very quickly and thoroughly in a special device called a flash mixer. Next comes the clarification process. The flock forms itself into sludge and is separated in a specially designed tank called a clarifier. This sludge layer is called the sludge blanket. To control the blanket, sludge is periodically drained off, concentrated and removed for safe disposal. Particles filtered out on the RGF, the rapid gravity filter, are removed by backwashing. 
The water now needs filtration to get rid of any remaining particles. Water is filtered slowly through very fine sand or sand-like material. For some river waters, we use ozone gas injection as a treatment stage. This can work in conjunction with GAC, or granular activated carbon treatment, where the water is filtered through carbon granules to take out any undesirable traces of largely natural organic materials. The carbon in these filters is removed and regenerated by heat, so it can be used again. Now the water's filtered and thoroughly cleaned, it's disinfected to make sure no harmful bacteria remain. A small, controlled amount of chlorine is the most effective method and provides essential customer protection. This method is used across most of the world. The chlorine has to stay in contact with the water for a period of time for effective disinfection. Last but not least, adjustments are made to the pH levels of the water during the treatment process so that it's neither too acid or alkaline. This helps pipe work fittings and the water itself. From the treatment works, water is fed into a huge mains pipe network nearly 43,000 kilometres long, which forms a grid around the region. This grid is then accessed directly to your home and when you turn your tap on, it's available to you. Clean, safe drinking water.